give a short introduction of the Wim Hof method. I came across the method when I was listening to a Tim Ferriss show podcast interview with Wim Hof and it really amazed me that this guy was able to hold so many Guinness Book World Records that most of these records have something to do with um, cold water immersion and withstand the cold. And so I was practic practicing the method like uh, breathing technique and doing cold showers and I did this for a couple of weeks and yeah, it changed my life really. And maybe you could switch to the next slide, Kiki, it would be very nice. So this is the three pillars, these are the three pillars of the Wim Hof method. So there's a specific breathing technique that you will learn and it's really simple. It's a very simple technique, but it's very effectful. It's not easy to do, but it's simple. And then you have this cold therapy. So you do cold showers every day or you do an ice bath and it challenges your body. And the combination of these both uh, things are, uh, have the consequence of shifting your mindset a little bit to places where you might nev never been before. So it's like you're experiencing that you can do a couple of minutes in an ice bath. So what other things are possible in your life? And the third pillar is commitment. So you do it on a regular basis. And it's also including like meditation and a different kind of consciousness. And the method is on the, on the surface purely physical, so you change your physiology. And this is what really intrigued me because I'm a new scientist for almost 20 years. I started with EEG, I started with, I um, followed uh, research with neuroimaging. So I make these fancy pictures of the brains and the activity in the brain. And I was very much amazed by this technique, not by just my own experience, but by research that has been done with these, um, with, with the method. Yeah, please, the next slide. So this is just a, a, a picture of uh, Wim Hof's face. And um, yeah, he was um, going into an MRI scanner in the university, Wayne State University of Detroit. Um, this is the, the most recent study so there have been other studies before, but Wim Hof has been investigated with a cold suit. So, so he was wearing a suit where the researchers were able to induce cold or warm water. And they looked at his brain and found out very amazing things. Please, next slide. So this is just a basic model of the human brain. And as you can see, you have uh, the neocortex and you have lower areas like midbrain and brainstem areas, um, like where the, the letter H is there and letter K, with the brainstem areas. Next picture, please. And yeah, these are the results of the functional Im imaging study of Wim Hof. So he was scanned while just doing nothing, just concentrating. He had done his method beforehand, but not inside the scanner. And the researchers were hypothesizing that Wim Hof might be inducing a controlled stimulus um, from his frontal brain, like very much in meditation, what we already know from um, neuroimaging of meditation. So frontal brain areas are controlling your body. And this is not what they found at all. So they did not find any frontal brain activity when they compared cold and warm challenges for Wim Hof's body. And you might see, but it's not very clear that there is no frontal brain activity, but there's brainstem activity. So it's maybe a, a technique where you control, not very consciously, but just letting go of all the voluntary stuff and just given into to the cold. And they used another method that is called PET, PET. And this was not to investigate what, what is going on in Wim Hof's brain, but in Wim Hof's body. So the theory of thermogenesis or thermoregulation was that 
Wim Hof should have a lot of brown fat. So brown fat activation is um, considered the underlying process. Brown fat is the fat that has a lot of mitochondria, so many engines that are supply your cells with the energy you need, um, in contrast to white fat. And what they found was that Wim Hof has not more brown fat cells than anybody else, but they found that the muscles between the ribs are getting warmer, maybe because of the extensive training of the breathing technique, and so they might warm up the whole body during the, the blood circulation. That's pretty amazing. So we have some, some results from science, and the method is quite easy, and we do workshops to, to teach people how to do this properly, to um, breathe in the right way, and it's, it's a combination of very intensive breathing, so like hyperventilation, it's not a calm breathing technique, it's very stressful, activating breathing technique, and you have also periods where you hold your breath for as long as you can, so you induce a hypoxic stress, so your body and especially your brain gets lesser ox oxygen than normal. And that, this might be one of the reasons why this method works so well. Yeah, just the next slide, please. Yeah, it, it, the it doesn't work. doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. So the, the other very interesting study was that Wim Hof was investigated in, in, in the Netherlands, in the University of Nijmegen, where they had an endox endotoxemia model. That means they were investigating the immune system um, when, they, when the immune system was challenged. So they injected that bacteria, and the body has to cope with the very, very intense reaction, flu-like symptoms, um, but only to the point when the body realizes, okay, this is just that bacteria, this is not a real danger for me. But in these four or five hours, you can see what, what is going on in the blood, and you can draw some conclusions what the immune system really does. And they injected Wim Hof with this dead bacteria while he was doing his breathing technique, and they found amazing stuff. So they um, published the study as a single case analysis, and they said, well, Wim Hof, very fine, but what can we do for other people? Are you just a uh, special guy? You have special genetics or whatever? Can you train people to do this? And he was telling, yeah, of course, just give me a, a group and you can in investigate this group and I can train this. Okay, how long does it take? One year, two years? No, I can do it in two weeks. And they make up a study with two groups, just a control group who didn't get the training and uh, an experimental group who underwent the Wim Hof method for, for, ex for, for six or seven days and they trained it at home for um, four days additionally. So it was like 10 day training of the Wim Hof method and they induced these experimental groups, these endotoxemia, so these dead bacteria as well. And they found that um, the Wim Hof method breathing technique induces a stress response, but just the first step. So usually when you get a fight or, fright, uh, fight or flight response, the stress response, you activate your body by um, releasing adrenaline, noradrenaline and cortisol mainly. So, and they found there was no difference in noradrenaline, no difference in cortisol, but a huge difference in adrenaline. So you get this rush of, of very activating hormonal stuff, but not the second or third answer of the stress response. And we know that adrenaline has a huge effect on the immune system. So if you are in stressful situations, you don't get sick right away. You have to wait till next weekend when you relax, then you feel all you, your flu-like symptoms, right? So this might be a clue how this method works. And yeah, this is just a summary, summary of this. And as well, this is the adrenaline goes up. Next slide, please. And next slide. Yeah. So when you go a layer deeper, 
uh, and take a look, a closer look at the immune system, you see the stuff that are um, released, um, and, and these are called interleukins, so cyt cytokines. And the Wim Hof method has been shown that the pro-inflammatory pro cytokines are reduced, while the anti-inflammatory cy cytokines are uh, enhanced. So this is like, you would like to create a method that uh, is rebalancing your immune system. You would like, from, from scratch, you would like to have this kind of method to just give it to people, uh, who, um, which is easily accessible, it doesn't, doesn't cost so much money. In fact, you'd, everyone can breathe, everyone, everyone can go into the cold water. It's very easy to do, um, but it's so much effective and so you get so, much, so many benefits out of this. For your health, for many other purposes, so many people are doing this method for enhancing their sports performance, for reducing their disease symptoms, and especially for all the immune diseases. So diseases that are connected to the immune system. There has been shown that they are quite huge effects. And we have a Facebook group of the Wim Hof Method, and we have now, I think, more than 90,000 people in there and just reporting what they, what they felt during the method and the consequences they got. And yeah, next, next slide, please. Uh, yeah, and ha, I decided last, last year to do a podcast with interviews and information regarding the Wim Hof method together with my wife Dina and Wim Hof of course is supporting this and we started last year and we have like 13 episodes with interviews and I was um, very curious when I saw the movie of Kiki Bosch and I I mailed to her and asked her if she was, she was um, willing to give an interview to us. And I think one of the, my best ideas was to let my, my wife do the interview because it, it, this is one of the best episodes you ever hear. You have to, if you just listen to one episode, you have to listen to the Kiki Bosch interview with, with the podcast Science on the Rocks. This is the name. You get this on the scienceontherocks.org page or on iTunes or whatever, Stitcher. And yeah, it was um, this very nice interview. And so we get to know each other afterwards. So we plan to do workshops. She became a Wim Hof instructor as well. And we're co coping quite yeah. good, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and we're giving tomorrow a workshop uh, on the Utliberg. If you like to participate, we have a, uh, some spots left there. And we will get a, we will offer a very intense, uh, deep Wim Hof um, um, method workshop where we not just have some breathing sessions and ice bath and you will see most like 95% of, of, of people say, okay, breathing sessions, yeah, sounds interesting, but ice baths, no, no, I'm, I'm out. No, I, don't, I don't like ice baths. But it's not a must. You can just see how it goes and all of the participants usually going into an ice bath, and it's a huge experience, amazing. You feel so much awake. Many people say this is kind of forced mindfulness meditation. So you're in the moment, this is what we all need, in the moment, in the here and now, you don't think about your past, you don't think about your future, you're in the ice bath, and this is wonderful. And you will hear more about going into the ice cold water when you hear, uh, in a couple of moments, um, Kiki Bosch. And yeah, I will just additionally and, and once again invite you to our workshop uh, tomorrow. And you can sign up here somewhere, just ask us. And I now introduce you and give over to Kiki Bosch. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>